Let's try to call Seth Putnam one yeah. last time. Oh, Jesus. Because this Can guy. We just nod Imagine if Seth Putnam is Pizza Destroyer. They're both from Massachusetts. Imagine. It's been one long ruse. Oh, this is Ruzy. finally culminating. <laughs> ruzy, ruzy. Here we go. Answering phones is good. Uh. Here, Seth, 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 Seth. Oh, it's because he doesn't strong. know this number. Well, hey, Seth. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. You are on the Metal Injection live cast. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. We did it. We did it. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I woke up like five minutes ago. So. <laughs> oh, I see. Were you taking a little uh, midday siesta? No, nah, I, I was up for a couple of days. So I slept for a while. Why were you uh, up for a couple of days? What was going on? You know, a bunch of drugs, you know. <laughs> Any in particular you want to give a plug to? No, nah, not really. You know, you're a role model. You don't want to upset the kids, right? Robitussin. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, Seth, uh, you, you got, you're, uh, you're putting out a new album. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's called Fucking A. It's like a... Uh... Um, it's like one record's coming out, another one out. Coming out it's called War and Out of Welcome. Like we recorded like a whole record at the same time. We ended up dividing into two records. Like one's more of a cock rock record, one's more of a normal sounding stuff with you do record. But they're both coming out. Like well, the fucking A's already out. The other one will be out pretty soon. Mm. I see. And uh, before this, you had, you didn't put out a, a record for a while. I see. Uh, the hundred ten yeah. song CD came out in two thousand eight. What? Uh, the your last album came out in two thousand eight, and you were like in a coma, right? Yeah, I was in a coma for like in two thousand and four. So. Oh, two thousand four. Oh, I see. So, what what was the coma about? <laughs> Is that something you want to talk about? I think you gave up. <laughs> Wait, hello. I think I think Jenny's, no, Jenny's call screening, screening him. Oh, oh my god. god! Hello, <laughs> Seth, you back? Doesn't put him through. <laughs> what a perfect moment to call screen. <laughs> Seth, are you there? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. You got. We're retarded. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. all. <laughs> a little technical difficulty. Oh, again, she's call screening him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> Dying fetus necrophagus six 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 brutal four twenty said he went back into a coma. <laughs> no, come on. Well, um, I think I'm on two lines. One person is asking me, actually, like, I'm calling into the show. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our either. call screener is accidentally a taking off the yeah. yeah, we got that figured out. Sorry about that. Overzealous. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Sean, did you have any questions? Yeah. Um, I was reading about that you had a, a deal where if people paid a certain amount of money, you'd write a song about them and put them on one of your albums. Did that ever work out? Did anyone, you know? Front the cash. Yeah, it's still no. Uh, still, it's, well, it's, still do it now if you want to. Like I uh, was waiting for a couple more people to do it, and then we'll do it, and I'll do it. How many have you gotten so far? I think like uh, eighteen or something. No shit. Any good? Any good? Uh, memorable responses that you you know that you're that you. Not got really. Them? It's all pretty boring. Oh, that sucks. Nothing like Venetian blinds <laughs> are gay or anything. <laughs> what? Nothing like Venetian blinds are gay or anything. No, I mean, some stuff is boring as that, yeah, but um, there's nothing really interesting. So gotcha. I haven't even heard all the titles. Like um, some other guys doing like his collecting things with me, so I haven't heard all the titles he's gotten yet. So. Oh, okay. So you your your band is known for like having pretty much the best song titles around. What would you say is your favorite song title that you've come up with? Do you have one? I don't know. Um, on the new record, it's a song called "Beating Up Niggers It's Called Fake Cracks." <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you really this hateful, or or is it just shtick? What? Are you really this hateful? Like, do you really hate everybody like this, or is it just, like, for jokes? I basically don't really like anyone in general, so... So you hate everyone equally? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Would you say you hate us, the members of the live cast here? Are we kind of, uh... I basically, I basically, I basically hate everyone until I get to know them, you know? Oh, I see. Yeah, unless, like... 
I just initially hate everyone, and then if they all turn out to be okay, then I don't That's hate them. a good them way either. to see people So out. pretty much everyone starts on your shit list, right. and they have to prove themselves yeah. to yeah. get off your shit That's list. That's a good way to weed people out. I, I yeah. respect that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sid, you wanted to ask him something? Oh, yeah. Um, back in the day, um, I heard we, 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 people tell like urban legends about anal cunts. So one of my coworkers when I worked at a record label told me that at some point you guys did an entire tour in a stolen car. Is this true? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There you go. Urban legend confirmed. Nice. Confirmed. How did you get the stolen car? Can you tell us about I it? I think he stole it. <laughs> well, basically, uh, we toured some stupid band and never toured before, and... Um, we um basically one night we were driving through mailboxes in Indiana, like um smashing up the car, driving drunk and stuff. And uh, some car pulled us off a drunk driver, a driver, and we failed the breathalyzer test. But um the guy says leave the car here. He didn't arrest the driver. He didn't arrest the guitar. He says just leave the car here and uh and basically we'll just get it tomorrow. So they got this, uh, this, the passenger side smashed in one of the mailboxes we ran over. You know, they was what happened here? Like, oh, some niggers was doing something out of this. And the guy, like, believed us right away, you know. And, um, and so uh, she left the car there overnight. And meanwhile, while they were gone, some gay neighbors called the cops and said there was a stolen car in the driveway. So um, well, next time we got the car, the guy who rented the car was freaking out because he said, like, um, the rented car place said the car was stolen and it was all destroyed and stuff. So basically, they reported it stolen to the cops. So we just kept driving on the tour anyway. The band we touring with went home to a bunch of fags and stuff. So we just finished the tour by itself. So technically, we were touring with a stolen car. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you squared that away for us. Uh, what? Another thing I want to talk about is there, there's this photo of you on the internet uh, shooting up while a woman blows you. Uh, is that a common occurrence? Yeah. Is that a common occurrence in, in the life of Seth, Seth Putnam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> now, is it hard to concentrate on one or the other? Uh, that's what I want to know. Well, it, it, it's kind of, it's, it gives you kind of have to concentrate more on the shooting up part. So, so once that's all done, then you can just you know? yeah. So once you're all shot up, you can just really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, I see. Now... Uh, is it's it a, kind of a distraction shooting up though, so <laughs> it, it becomes more of a challenge just to to stay uh, functional. Nah, to stay focused, yeah. Right, right. Now, is it like being on tour? Is it hard to find uh, drugs in, in all these areas, or do you kind of have do you kind of have a network of people <laughs> that you just know? Oh, I'm going to be in Ohio. Let me call uh, yeah. Skull Crusher. Yeah, in up. Ohio, we call this one guy, you know. Um, you know, you know well, actually, it's funny. We show up to that guy's house with a tra- fucked up stolen car. He walked out his doors, like, what his shirt, his head, like, this is exactly what I expected from you guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, like, drugs his house two days and finish the tour, you know. Nice. Nice. Ooh, nice. nice. But, um, but more usually, you know, in a moment, pretty much people everywhere. If not, 90 people, like, seconds. Shows and stuff, so it's not that big of a deal to find something. Right. Hmm. What would you say, of all, of, of all drugs, what would you say is your favorite vice, your favorite drug? Kids don't do drugs. Yeah. Hey, crystal meth. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good for the teeth. No. <laughs> do you guys have any feel like tour plans coming up for these two new albums? Or what? Yeah, we're touring like all of April in the U.S. and we're touring in Europe in May and June. No, oh, nice. Sixty seconds. Shut up, we're like the whole country in April. So, what? Are you uh, are you guys headlining or are you going out with somebody? We're pretty much headlining all the shows. We might be over in Africa. We're playing one festival in France, like Ozzy and Judas Priest. So we're obviously not headlining that one, but um, we're headlining most of the shows. So. That's cool. So to be offensive in France, do you pretty much have to gear all your songs to Jerry Lewis insults? <laughs> Is that like the only way to piss off the French? That's nah, too ordinary and ordinary and boring. I wouldn't waste the time making fun of Jerry Lewis. Fair enough. <laughs> it's too easy. It's actually taking <laughs> Sid seriously. Hey, uh, this is the this first question. on this show. <laughs> also, you have, a, you have a history with uh, Phil Anselmo, which is somebody we joke yeah. about on the show. Do you have any funny Phil Anselmo stories you can share? 
Um, Ten I went seconds. To the on the Pantera album. We went to Tread and Reznor studio in um, New Orleans. We did the vocals and the faggots, Marilyn Manson, living there at the same time. <laughs> and, you know, I got introduced to Marilyn Manson. Like Phil was whistling that song. I just saw the gayest guy on earth by Al Kant and both kind of like with each other. <laughs> that's him. That's <laughs> that's great. Minus the mustache, that was him, right? <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, that's it. We've, we've lost. Him. We've lost him because we're off the air. Story. What, yeah. a sh- what a shame. <laughs> to hear more, find the Metal Injection livecast on iTunes, or you can go to metalinjection.net/livecast.